Hey, how's it going guys? So, I've done a bit of a dodgy wire up and got these uh, all linked together. So it's uh, 12 volts all in parallel. Connected to our Victron Phoenix 250VA. Um, beautiful little pot with pure sun and AV inverter. Now the power's been off on the charger for oh, about half an hour. Hovering around 13.8 to 13.9. So drop that right off. So what we're looking for is amp hours, which we won't be able to read. It'll be watt hours that we'll be able to read. Let's hope for somewhere over 5,000 watt hours, but ideally more like 8,000. This should be about 8 kilowatt hours. So this is the start of our loaded up test inverter with the charger Milwaukee charger plugged in spawn about 4 watts and this is what we're going to do with this setup is we're going to run a ton of Milwaukee batteries through this thing obviously I have basically a never ending supply so get straight to 84 watts and the voltage didn't dip at all from 13.8 six amps that one's not actually flat it's really got a bar or two taken out of it but um, what I'm going to do is go through and just charge all the batteries that I've been using up again like I always do this battery charger can go over here and the poor little diesel heater battery so it's pretty low forgot about it yeah look at that 11.9 let's bring that up slowly that's our finished, let's go back to 14.2 So yeah, like I was saying, this will end up as a part, if you haven't watched the previous video, what this will end up being is 24 volts and um, 380 amp hours at uh, 24 volts with another 200 amp hours of similar cells Added to it, so it'll be 580 amp hour at 24 volts. And I hope to be able to run things like my induction cooktop, kettle, toaster, all those kinds of loads to make breakfast for myself and my daughter most um, weekday mornings and to make dinner of a night time. And the main reasons I want to do that is we just changed to a peak and off peak um, power configuration, which means I pay 32 cents for peak power per kilowatt hour and I only pay 14 for off peak now all weekend is off peak as well as um, overnight till 6 a.m. and between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. each weekday so this load center setup one will only be fed solar power this is only we only charge this up this way for testing but they predominantly came very full so you could probably even say that I bought 5 kilowatt hours when I bought this bank. I know it's not much, but yeah, even at 30 cents a kilowatt hour, it's not a big deal. But they were charged, so these are in quite good nick. So, we already pulled nearly 3 watt hours. When you start talking about um, peak and off-peak power usage, it's all controlled by a power meter that does its own thing. This setup will not only use solar, because I'll have about a thousand watts worth of panels to put on this beast. I also have the ability to back it up with grid power if I need to and charge it with 24 volts. Uh, I found at the scrapyard a 24 volt forklift charger that's capable of like 30 amps at 24 volts. It's a pretty good charger. Um, but also the ability to only do that when it's in off peak time. When you use it in off peak time, happy days. I've also been with my other 24 volt system out in the shed. I've been running uh, the what's the brand antimatter 20 amp hour charger discharger to uh, discharge and rate cells. I've been doing going through the gel pack, and by doing that, I've been discharging each cell 
out to uh, and using regenerative discharge, which has been charged in the 24 volt bank. And then it tops the bank up overnight. And then of a morning when the sun comes up, I turn on the LiPo charger, punch that power back into that battery that I tested. At the same time as the sun's feeding power back into my battery bank. So it's worked really well so far because that's only 200 amp hours. Oh, about 300 amp hours. There's a couple of flooded LEDs connected to it as well. So we're at 5 watt hours already. This will uh, take a while to complete, but I'll make another video when this is done. This is this the simple way that I'm going to load, test. I will plug the uh, wireless Bluetooth monitor into this. I'll go get that now. I'll go and get that and I'll come back. Alright, so I realise this test is going to take a while if I only do uh, the Milwaukee batteries. Um, this is only a 250VA inverter, so it's only good for about 200 watts. Um, we're only using about half its capacity. This is the uh, VE Direct Smart. Uh, the little dongle plugged in. So I went and added a power board and a EG charger. I think that pulls about 100 watts. I've got a couple of batteries that need topping off. That one was in my circular saw all day the other day. So it's registering as 322 watts of incoming load off the battery bank and we're sitting at 13 volts over there. What we might do is uh, go back to charging the M12 battery while the AEG one's on charge. That's pulled it back to 200 watts of charge. But uh, what I wanted to show you was this uh, VE Direct app. What we're going to do is we're going to um, low battery cutoff. I want to change that to let's change that to 11 volts. Restore settings. Yes. Okay, so it'll stop at 11 volts. So the um, Milwaukee 6 amp battery there, they charge it for about 4 amp hours in the M12 slot. Um, so they're not as bad as the 6 amps at the 18 volts on the other side. And these charge at about 4.4 amps. 6 amp there that's only got a bar or two taken out of it. They always read a bit higher um, than what they start charging at. These AEG cells are found. So once that one goes into like topping it off mode, um, this one will be getting up high as well before the next one kicks in. And I'll just wait out here until that uh, 2.0 is charged. That's a 2.0 by the way. Once that's charged, we'll put the 12 on. We'll let it pull the 12 out of it for a few hours. Yeah, we're pulling. 207 watts and we're at 12.8 volts 22 watt hours like I say, we'll let this rip, see what happens I'll make some more videos on the progress hopefully they don't fall over, hopefully they can sustain continual discharge for a long time well, to 11 volts is really a uh, like 100% state of discharge test but uh, we'll see if she can handle it. So, uh, Nerla24 did a video on these years ago. He got a ton of these. I'm pretty sure that was the same as this uh, from a scrapyard as well. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, update you as I go along. We'll continue the testing. Thanks for watching. Catch us all on the next vid.